This is certainly a rundown that you would prefer not to be in. These are right now the 10 most needed wanted individuals on the planet. As indicated by the FBI, every one of them has done genuine violations including however not restricted to kill. They're right now everywhere and have colossal bounties on all fours by any possibility you have data on any individuals on this rundown please contact your nearby specialists right away. Especially the guy on number one without further ado here are 10 of the most wanted people in the world. Let's start from the number 10. Alexis Flores. Alexis Flores is wanted for the kidnapping and five-year-old Ariana de Jesus in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in 2000. A Honduran interim worker Flores is believed to have lived in the building where the child's body was found. He assaulted strangled and wrapped in a trash bag. The itinerant homeless man was believed to have disappeared at the same time as the little girl. Flores has actually arrested twice after the murder. First in 2002 for shoplifting and the other in 2005 for forgery in Arizona. He only served 60 days in jail for the lighter charge and was subsequently deported back to Honduras. DNA was only matched to the 2000 crime scene in 2007 by which time he's been out of the country for years. There is currently a $100,000 reward for his capture. Number 9. Yasser Abdel said. Yasser Abdel said is an Egyptian-American former taxi driver who was accused of murder. For 12 years, said evaded arrest for January 1, 2008, fatal shootings of his two daughters, Amina and Sarah. Their bodies were found in his abandoned taxi cab in Irving, Texas, on the property of the Omni Mandalay Hotel. Amina and Sarah were actually previously able to escape the clutches of their father. A police report at the time said a family member told investigators that the suspect threatened bodily harm against Sarah for going on a date with a non-Muslim. The mother, Patricia said, fled with her daughters in the week before their deaths because she was in great fear for her life. Gail Gattrell, the sister's great-aunt, has called the deaths an honor killing, in which a woman is murdered by a relative to protect her family's honor. The teenage sisters were found shot multiple times in a cab outside a motel in Irving, a Dallas suburb. Police found them after one of the girls called 911 from a cell phone and said she was dying. Number 8. Budresh Kumar Patel. Considered as one of the biggest ever simultaneous chases in the US and India, the Federal Bureau of Investigation is hunting for an Indian fugitive, Budresh Kumar Patel, for the past many years. Patel, who hails from Virungam in Ahmedabad, figures in the FBI's top 10 list of most wanted fugitives and carries an award of $100,000. FBI considers Patel as a cold-blooded criminal and an extremely dangerous criminal who allegedly hit his young wife on the face with a kitchen knife in presence of other customers at a Dunkin' Donuts store in Hanover, Maryland, in a most bizarre way. Though the top 10 list of most wanted fugitives is constantly updated and changed, as Budresh Patel continues to run from one place to another, his name continues to figure in the latest FBI list, which includes some of the most dreaded fugitives. Number 7. Arnaldo Jimenez. Authorities are still looking for Arnaldo Jimenez for the alleged stabbing and subsequent death of his wife Estrella Carrera the morning after their wedding. Obviously, he liked it right after the crime and hasn't been seen since. It is believed that Jimenez and his new wife were having an argument in his car in Maserati on the day of the crime. It is also believed that Carrera was stabbed in the car and her lifeless body was dragged up into their apartment in Burbank, California then placed in the bathtub. Authorities are asking for the public's help and are offering up to a $100,000 reward for information. Leading to Jimenez's arrest the FBI believed that Jimenez may have fled to Durango, Mexico specifically around Santiago Papasquiaro. Number 6. Robert Fisher. Officially added to the FBI's most wanted list in June of 2002. Robert Fisher is wanted by authorities for the alleged 2001 of his family, wife Mary Fisher, and their 10-year-old son Bobby, and their 12-year-old daughter Brittany, and then he blew up their own house in Scottsdale, Arizona. Before disappearing on the day of the incident Brittany was supposed to attend a school ceremony where she was supposed to be inducted into the school's honor society, but she did not make it. Witnesses say that Robert had been acting weirdly the night before. 
The authorities also believed that Mary was preparing to divorce her husband after she found out he was having an affair. Robert William Fisher was born on April 13, 1961, in Brooklyn, New York. His parents were William Fisher, a banker, and Jan Howell. He has two sisters with whom he attended Saguaro High School in Tucson, Arizona. Fisher's parents divorced in 1976 when he was 15. According to friends and relatives, the divorce was very turbulent and unsettling, leaving long-lasting effects on Fisher. The FBI offers a reward of up to $100,000 for information leading to Fisher's capture. As of April 2003, the FBI had received hundreds and hundreds of leads. However, all reported sightings of Fisher have been inconclusive or false. Number 5. Jason Derrick Brown. Jason Derrick Brown is one of his first agreement armed robbery at a Phoenix movie theater in November of 2004. This is after he allegedly shot an armored guard outside the theater then ran off with the theater's cash on hand then fled to Las Vegas before driving to Orange County, California to stay with relatives. When the FBI carried out an arrest warrant in December 2004 they miss him by two hours soon after Brown became a ghost and went completely off the grid. In January of 2005, authorities tracked down his abandoned vehicle at Portland International Airport. Brown was a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and completed his Mormon mission near Paris, France, and he speaks fluent French. He enjoys being the center of attention and has been known to frequent nightclubs where he enjoys showing off his high-priced vehicles, boats and other toys. He was added to the FBI Most One and Liz in December of 2007, and they are offering $200,000 for any information that will lead to his capture. Number 4. Eugene Palmer. Eugene Palmer was added to the FBI's most wanted list on May 29 of 2019 for allegedly his daughter-in-law Tammy Palmer in September 2012 in Stony Point, New York. Eugene lived next door to Tammy and her husband and his son John. Tammy and John's relationship soured and she found for a straining order against John. She threatened to file for divorce and sue for land which Eugene owned which caused him to get into a bitter argument with Tammy. Then on the morning of September 24, 2012, Tammy walked her two children to the bus stop. Eugene was believed to be lying in wait in the bushes, and as she walked home, Eugene allegedly shot at her from a distance. Eugene then fled in his pickup truck which he abandoned near Harriman State Park in Rockland County. Police called in search dogs which found Palmer sent through the park for a while before losing track. Authorities never found a body leading them to believe that he is still alive. Authorities believe he might be hiding in either upstate New York or Florida where he has relatives. He now has a $100,000 bounty on his head. Number 3. Santiago Villalba Maderos. Santiago Pucho Villalba Maderos is a former American fugitive who was added to the FBI 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list on September 25, 2017. Santiago Villalba Maderos is a Washington State gang member charged with two moves in 2010 and has been named to the FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list with a reward of up to $100,000 that was offered for information. Camille Love and her brother, Joshua, were shot as she drove her car down Portland Avenue East in East Tacoma on February 7, 2010, prosecutors said at the time. Neither Camille nor her brother was gang members. But their car was red and Joshua Love was wearing a red jacket, which led gang members known as the Eastside Locotos Serenos to believe they were members of a rival blood gang, so they opened fire, prosecutors have said. Santiago Villalba Maderos, also known as Pucho, was arrested without incident in Tenancingo, Estado de Mexico. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This couple of jailbirds seen in the photo looks like they're going to be behind bars for a long time, but for what crime while well, we're actually not sure. It could be for something minor as they don't appear to be on any most wanted list. Number 2. Alejandro Castillo. Alejandro Rosales Castillo is an American fugitive who was added to the FBI 10 most wanted fugitives list on October 24, 2017. He is wanted for the August 2016 murder of truck Quan Sandy Lilo in Charlotte, North Carolina. 
Castillo was the 516th fugitive to be placed on the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitives list. The FBI offers a reward of up to $100,000 for information leading to his capture. In 2016, a then 17-year-old Castillo worked at a Shomar's restaurant in Charlotte, North Carolina, and was co-workers with 23-year-old truck Quan Sandy Lilo. The two reportedly briefly dated and at some point Lo had lent Castillo some money which he never paid back to her. Another co-worker of theirs was 19-year-old Amia Feaster, who was Castillo's new girlfriend after his split from Lo. On August 9, 2016, Castillo texted Lo saying that he would like to repay her the money she had previously loaned him. Lo agreed to meet Castillo at a quick trip located on Eastway Drive in Charlotte. Castillo was picked up that afternoon by Feaster, who collected him in her red Dodge Caliber and took him to the meeting. Lou was last seen alive at the quick trip where she agreed to meet Castillo. It is believed that instead of repaying her, Castillo forced Lou to withdraw all the money from her bank account, possibly with a gun. According to Lee's uncle, her bank statements show that she withdrew $1,000 from an ATM. After this withdrawal, there was no money left in her bank account. Investigators believe that Castillo then drove Lou to a wooded area in Cabarrus County where he shot her on Point Black Range. Before moving to the next number we just want small favor from you. Our team is working hard behind the scenes. We love to see your reaction to over videos. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon to get a notification of our upcoming videos. Let's jump on the number 1. Rafael Caro Quintero. Coming in at number 1 is the most notorious person on this list. He is involved in kidnapping, drug trafficking, and the debt of a special agent in 1985. No wonder there is a $20 million reward for his capture which is the largest reward currently posted on this list. The FBI calls Rafael Caro Quintero a godfather of Mexican drug trafficking, and he is known as the narco of narcos. The agency says he helped form the Guadalajara cartel in the 1970s which funneled and go into the US. Caro Quintero was wanted on charges of kidnapping and murdering U.S. federal agent Kiki Camarena in 1985. This is the end of our video. Today we will end this video by requesting you. If you have any information relayed to these wanted criminals then please inform the official authorities. Take care of loved ones and never believe in anyone blindly. This is the most important message of this video. You can also watch more amazing videos on our channel here.